Hello, welcome back to hey. 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. uh, here we're Quino. Um, and you may hear my dog Luna just faffing about all over the place. Oh, there, yeah, you can probably hear her whining because she's being silly. Um, but we're going to do a beer review while she's, she, we've given her something to eat and she's just being silly with it. So let's go and uh, drink this beer. So we've got, this is a substitute review. We've actually got yeah. two beers. Oh, what a substitute. I know. Um, so this is supposed to be... Uh, marble chocolate marble but they don't make it anymore so you pick it was one of their core range beers i don't know why they stopped times. making it but um the i picked two other of their core range maybe it was sexist it was probably a sexist beer mm. yeah let's uh let's not go into that <laughs> maybe we'll in this maybe we'll in a minute uh so let's we're gonna without further ado we're gonna have manchester bitter uh it's a nice big 500 ml can it's 4.2 percent it says dry bitter northern marble can beer produced to mancunian standards our, okay. most, our most traditional core beer is inspired by Manchester Stalwart, a fondly remembered original. Specialty malt gives the deep golden colour and robust base balanced, balanced by crisp bitterness and a floral lemony aroma. Okay. Okay. Here. Have you ever had Man the Manchester Bitter before? Yeah, I've had it a few times in, in cask round and about. I used to try to put it in there because it's a fair bit of it. I, I think they do still have it from time to time. Yeah, I haven't seen it for a while, but uh, yeah, when it... Normally when I go up north, um, I quite often end up plumping for marble beer. If I see it, I do, I do quite like their stuff in cask anyway. I I've to, never had it in a can. Manchester Bitter is an interesting thing because it's not like bitter as we know it. Nope. It says Manchester Bitter. It's, uh, it doesn't look like bitter. Well, should we talk about, do you like the, <laughs> how do you like the can to start with? It's, um, it's, it's all right. It's got, it's, it's got a very particular strong branding on it. Yeah, I quite like it's, it. Uh, you... I like it's a 500 mil can. Yep. Uh, we're not fobbed off with a smaller amount of beer for the same amount of money. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's. Uh, let's give it a go. So let's yep. have a look at the. So it doesn't look like normal bitter. It looks very golden. It's like a gold nail. Yep. I think I might have given you a bit of sediment. Sorry. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't actually realise no, a canned beer would have I, sediment, I, sediment I, in I it. Didn't, I didn't realise that theirs would have um, any sediment, but that's that's fine. How unusual. So with the metric... We'll... No, no, we'll be more careful with that one. How unusual. Um, what about the smell? It smells good. Quite hoppy. Mm. Smells like... Multi, hoppy. Yeah, multi, hoppy, floral. It smells mm. good. Let's go for it. Cheers. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. That's nice. Mm, it's nice, mm. that. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. That's... It tastes pretty much like it smells, if you see what I mean. Yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah. Is it best on cask? Um, yeah, but I probably would say that. It's really nice. Mm. Really easy going. Yeah, it's really good. like the floral floral taste to it. I don't know what hops it uses. Um, oh yeah, because there's no. It's not in the book, is it? So no. Um, it just says it just says hops. Uh, I'm gonna guess. They're not English hops. No, they could be. I don't know. They I don't could know. be. I mean, it's not. Should have, should have looked it up beforehand, shouldn't we? It's not highly hopped. No, it's 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 pleasantly hopped. I mean, I guess it's highly hopped. We've, you know, in 2020, um, we've got used to beers tasting a lot more hoppy than they were back in the day yes. when I first started drinking. So I guess now we'd say, yeah, oh, that's not over hopped. Um, but if my 19 year old self had had one of these I'd have gone bloody hell that's, yeah um, yeah I guess your, fair bit your, your 19 year old self would, would have found X more gold quite overwhelming <laughs> yeah probably so you've got used to it but this is and this is a very well done enjoyable beer this is it's an all occasions beer if you it's just one you can crack open pretty much for any time you want it um well yeah, I think it's really nice yeah it's pretty good we've got to drink it now before we can open the other one we have should we pause the video and stitch the two together. No, no, I think one. You this, grab... is going, this is going to be a mega video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you could grab two glasses, um, and we could put this aside and open the other one. Oh, uh, that's true. Why don't you true. grab two glasses from, yep. the, from the cupboard? I love the professionalism. It's videos. amazing. It's just, we didn't even think about it. So, uh, 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 other one. We are at least in the room with the glasses. So that's quite handy. Yeah. Um, uh, so that's quite good. Just uh, make sure you don't hit the dog. Dog all right? Yeah. That's one. Lovely. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find small glasses. Super. That'll do. 
to another one. Right, so Kona comes back. We've now got metric, but also known as pints. Now I like that. I, I kind of like. The, I kind of like the in joke here. So if you have it, well, you have it on cast. It's called pint. Here it's called metric. It says marble can beer produced to trading standards. It's three point nine percent. Uh, it says here, get yourself a pint, but get it in a metric measure. Our 3.9% session ale is brewed with an all-pale malt bill and hopped with a blend of New Zealand and US hops. Our benchmark beer promises a burst of zesty aromas, uplifting grapefruit flavours, and a subtle lemongrass finish. Would you like to do the honours? Uplifting. Like some kind of embrace song. As it hits the key change two-thirds of the way through. Right. That dog... I oh, know. That dog. I think the dog fancies some of your beer. You're not allowed to me. Sorry. <laughs> you can actually buy dog beer, apparently. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Do they wolf it down? Yeah, they do, yeah. Oh, come on, of course they are. They wolf it down. Right. Uh, it's a bit hard to make. There's a little bit left uh, in that. That's right. Right, so... Right, okay. So this one is... Same style of can. Yep. It's nice enough. Quite like the colour. Yeah, sort nice of gas- kind of a teal. Yeah, gas- gastropub teal, I think that yeah, would be. Yeah, very far and ball. <laughs> um, right. I've just seen something else up here. This is Vegetarian Society approved. They're both from our. Oh, so okay. they're vegetarian. Um, right, so what about the smell? Yep. It's less, that's more grapefruity and less floral than. Yeah, much less floral. The other one. But it still smells. It smells pretty good. Should we go for the taste? Mm-hmm. Cheers. It's pretty good. I prefer the Manchester bitter. Yeah, I prefer the Manchester bitter. It it's is... got more malt to it. Yeah, this it's is got depth of flavour. This is very light. This is yeah. This is very light. It is. It is quite. It is relatively sort of relatively grapefruity. Um, it is. It's a good summer beer. I imagine this one. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, for for. Depth of flavour, I'd much I, the bitter the bitter was a preferable one. But this is still nice. This I wouldn't I wouldn't denigrate this one. No, this I've had it on cast before. It's usually, I normally I'm, if I see it on cast, I'm, I'll normally go for it because it's quite low ABV. It's quite a nice starting session beer. Yeah. Um, What's the ABV on that one? Three point nine. Three nine. Oh, so okay. nice and nice and easy going. Good. And when it, when someone calls someone a session beer, sometimes you see ones and they're like four point five. I'm like, that's not a session beer. It's by some people's standards these days. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Three point nine is a session beer. Anything under four percent is a session beer. Yeah, pretty much four percent and under, isn't it? Or whatever. It's, you can sit there and stick half a dozen back over the course of the evening, and you'll still be able to get up under your own steam. And here's, home. here's a question: You're talking about your nineteen year old self. When yeah. when you were sort of drinking Carscale early on, did did any brewer actually call a beer a session beer, or was it just known as a session beer? Because now things are specifically called session beers, even in their brand. Mm. Uh, not that I, not that I recall. Um, but my nineteen-year-old self was still fumbling around in the pub, trying all sorts of bits and pieces. So the uh, the beer geekiness kind of came. I can't think of any. Came, came in my early twenties, so I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. I can't. I, I remember think the old boys used to refer to certain beers. Called yeah. Session. They would say, "Oh, that's a session beer," but I don't recall anything having branding saying, "Yeah, I am a session beer. This is a session beer." I don't ever see. see yeah, that. interesting to actually have it as a called out as a thing, which I think is, I think it's probably a good thing. I think it's good to people realise that that you know that's actually as long as it's, it is genuinely a session beer. I think calling a beer that's four point seven a session beer is dangerous. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, exactly. It's it's not true because uh, it's you know you can get. You could drink four of those and be absolutely rat assed. Although I suppose these days with all the crafties, their idea of a session is having seven percent probably. Well, sort of five thirds of seven percent or something. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. who knows? For, uh, swings and roundabouts. <clears throat> Maybe a session is how much money you can spend. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps so, that's it. Yeah. So a session is actually uh, uh, forty pounds or under <laughs> uh, for for three halves. Well, pretty good. Can't argue with those two for a starter. It's a shame. No, nope. it's a shame that we had to um, sub in because I did have the chocolate marble years ago and I did think oh. it was nice. But yeah. while they start making it, anymore. who knows? Mm. But uh, we're not going to do it today. It's uh, it's flashed away somewhere. But uh, marble now do uh, have brewed one of the beers which, I, which had stopped being brewed, which is Gale's Prize Old Ale. Oh, so I've got that somewhere. So so marble have redeemed themselves by taking away with one hand and giving with another. So I, I will give marble. I'll let them off because they provided at least one beer from the book, which was an unexpected one. So we'll leave it there. Like, okay. comment, subscribe, and we'll see you for another beer review very very soon. Goodbye.